maybe yourself uh, then uh, try out the questions so and and if you got stuck you can always message me or whatsapp me but uh, before you know before you message me or whatsapp me at least you know you try to solve the question first okay so let's look at the question number one mm, let me use the red color pen a bit thicker So, uh, question one is a, is a very simple question. So, you are supposed to find the value of x given to you that, uh, okay, let's see first, this is actually page, what, um, page seven. Make sure you tune in to page seven. Okay, uh, question one will be here. Okay, let's look at the first one. So, question uh, one, and this is actually page seven, All right? Okay. So question one is for the part one, the first one will be like x over two equals to three over four. So to find the value of x, the first thing that you should do is you should do a cross multiplication. So which means that um, x times four is uh, four x, three times two is six, right? Right, then after that, you can actually solve it. x equals to 6 over 4. And you're going to get 1, 2 over 4, or 1, 1 over 2. It's a very simple one, okay? Then uh, we should look at the second question. The Okay, for the question number 2, it is x over 3 equals to 1 over 4. Uh, just for your information, right, all the answers actually at the side. You can actually look at the answer. But uh, I would recommend that you know you try out yourself and see whether you're able to get the answer right and if you can't you, you have to ask me so cross multiplication means you need to you need to take four times x this way right so that will give you uh four x equals to three times one three you cross it and you're gonna get x equals to three over four All right okay so yep that's is correct question number three x over 4 equals to 2 over 5 and same thing you need to do a cross multiplication you need to cross it out and so 5 times x you cross it like an x remember you cross it this way okay so 5 times x is 5x equals to 4 times 2 is 8 right so x equals to 8 over 5 or equals to 1 3 over Five. so yeah it's actually very simple right okay then we can try the next question um, question number four x over five okay equals to four over five so to solve this question is very simple five times six is five x 5 times 4 is 20, right? You cross it, x equals to 20 over 5, it is equals to 4, right? Pretty simple. It's just very, very easy. And let's look at question number 5. Here is uh, x over 6 equals to 5 over 6, okay? Question number 5 is x over 6 equals to 5 over 6. And you cross it also. Make sure you multiply this and multiply, cross it, and you will get... 6x equals to 30, x equals to 30 over 6 equals to 5, okay? Then question number 6 is going to be x over 7 equals to 3 over 8, right? So you're going to be x times 8 is basically 8x equals to 21, x equals to 21, Over eight, so it's going to be like two, uh, two five over eight. All right, that's it for the part one. Okay, okay let me check see whether the recording is still recording. Yep, it's still recording. It's good. Okay, so looks easy, right? Shouldn't be a problem to you. So we're gonna go to the second one. Okay, we're gonna do the second one. Uh, the second question. 
Okay. Uh, yep, you're going to attempt this question, right? This question. Okay, um, let's see. So you define the, given the ratio, find the value of x, same thing. So 2 to x, this is actually question 2. Question 2 to x equals to 3 to 5. 2 over x equals to 3 over 5. So 5 times 2 is 10, 3 times x is 3x. And you're going to get x equals to 10 over 3, or you can put it this way, 10 over 3, and it's going to be 3, 1 over 3. Okay? Very easy. Okay? Let's look at question number 2. Let's move this a bit to the side. Okay, let's look at question number 2. In the question 2 is 1 to x equals to 1 to 5, right? So we need to change this into fraction first. 1 to x equals to 1 to 5. Right, so we need to do a cross multiplication. Right, so how do you do it? Just make sure you multiply it this way, okay? Alright, just multiply it. So 5 times 1 is 5, x times 1 is x, so x equals to 5. Okay, let's look at question number 3. Question 3, it is equals to 5 over x to equals to 8 over 2. Question 3 is 5 over 2 x equals to 8 over 2. So, um, we're going to change this into fraction. 5 over x equals to 8 over 2, right? Then we're going to apply the, uh, the cross multiplication. 5 times 2 is 10. Okay. Then 8 times is 8x. Oh my goodness. My handwriting is getting bad. Okay. So you're going to get like uh, 8x equals to 10. x equals to 10 over 8. It's actually 1, 2 over 8, right? And that will give you 1, 1 over 4. Okay. Let's bring this thing down. So it's easy for all of us. Okay, let's look at question number four. Let's look at question number four. Six to x equals to five to four. All right. So change this into a fraction. So if you cross multiply, 6 times 4 is 24, 5 times x is 5x, alright? So let's change the position. And you're going to get x equals to 24 over 5. This is actually 4, 4 over 5, okay? Um, my handwriting is a bit way off. So let's make it simple. So let's do question eight. Let's not waste some space. Let's move this thing up a bit. Okay, let's move it up. Okay. Yep. Okay. So question number four, five will be. Two to x. It is equals to four to eight. Okay, two to x equals to four to eight. All right. So change this into fraction. Four to eight. All right. So if you multiply this, basically two times six is sixteen equals to four x. X equals to sixteen over four. X equals to four. All right. Kind of easy actually. It's really really easy. Okay, let's move this thing down a bit. Okay, let's try question six. In the question six, uh, the question is eight to x is equals to 
4 to 1. Change this into fraction. Right? Then you apply the cross multiplication. So 8 times 1 is 8. Is equals to 4 times x is 4x. And you can change the position. Same thing. x equals to 8 over 4 is 2. Right? Okay? Let's try question 7. Question 7 tells us about 7 to x is equals to 1 to 5, right? So 7 over x equals to 1 over 5. So 7 times 5 is 35. x times 1 is x. So x is 35. Okay? And let's look at the last question, question 8. Question 8 is 2 to x equals to 1 to 3. Change this into fraction. 1 to 3. Okay? So you do a cross multiplication. 3 times 2 is 6 equals to x. x equals to 6. That's the answer. Okay? Alright, that's nice. Okay. So we're going to go to the third part. Okay. I'm going to enlarge this a bit. Okay. So in the third section, okay, so I'm going to rename this as question number three because that's a real third part. Okay, let's see first. In the question three, okay, the first one is, okay, this is going to be a bit complicated comparing to the first question and the second question. Uh, the reason why uh, the reason why is because um, the ratio consists of uh, what you call this uh, an algebraic expression which is a bit more complex but we're gonna apply the same technique we're gonna change everything into fraction before solving it right okay let's look let's look at the question uh, okay uh, First. equals to 3 to 5 so whenever you look at this question uh, it's a bit more complicated but the method of solving it is still the same over x plus 2 equals to 3 over 5 right so cross multiply basically it's going to be 5 times 2 is 10 you can do it this way and 3 is going to be x plus 2 So this will give you so you multiply so you multiply inside one by one so one by one yeah, it's gonna be three x plus six plus six then minus six equals to three x four equals to three x three x equals to four equals to x equals three or over three equals to one equals to one one or okay. three okay. Second question is going to be 1 to x plus 3 plus 1 equals 5. One to five. So 1 over x so one plus over 3 x equals 1 over 5. So you're going to do a cross multiplication. You're going to get here is that. If you cross it, you're going to be like, you know, like um, x plus 3. And yeah, you can and find x pretty easily. Let's move it a bit to the side. It's gonna be like it's gonna let's be change the position that. first, okay? So x minus minus five. Okay, so you know what I'm trying to tell you x. Something is wrong here. Okay, it's cool. So x equals to 2, okay?
Yeah, the Myro board is a bit laggy. I guess it's pretty normal. Uh, let me take the pen and see. Yeah, what is the status of my pen? Yeah, the pen is seventy six percent. There's nothing wrong with the pen. The, pen. the Myro board is a bit laggy. So okay. Okay, let's solve question number three. Okay, so question three. Uh, I'm gonna move this to my a bit to the side. I'm gonna arrange it this way. Okay, let's look at question three. So in a question three. It's going to be like, okay, uh, 5, 5, 2, x plus 4, equals to 8 to 2, right? So, change it into a fraction. 5 times 2 is 10. You can put it this way first. And 8, x plus 4, 10 equals to 8x plus 32. So basically, 10 minus 32 equals to 8x, 22 equals to 8x, oh, oh don't forget, it's negative 22, it's not 22, it's negative 22, right? So 8x negative 22, x equals to negative 22 over 8, and that will be, um, it's negative 2, uh, um, 6 6 over 8 and you to get negative 2 3 over 4 ok that is the answer and for my last question uh, for this page will be question number 4 and that will be like 6 over oh wait let's do the ratio for 6 to uh, x plus 5 equals to 5 to 4 okay 6 over x plus 5 equals to 5 to 4 all right so we do a cross multiply 6 times 4 equals to 5 x plus 5 so 6 times 4 is 24 equals to you, you need to open up this thing let me write properly here. And 5 times x is 5x plus 25. Okay. So, you're going to get like 24. You have to bring this 25 over. is minus 25 equals to 5x. So, negative 1 equals to 5x. Then you can change the position. Negative one x equals to negative one over five. That's it. That is uh, that's how I solve all the questions for you. Um, yeah, you just double check the answers. Uh, try by your try by yourself first. Then you double check the answers. Then if you manage to solve all these questions, yeah, then you are fine actually. Okay, um, okay. Why don't we go to the next page and see what we can you know what, what else we need to solve. And this will be page 8. That is the last page. Okay. In the last page, we need to learn about simultaneous equation. And as you know, simultaneous equation is really important because uh, it helps you to solve and to find two unknowns, the value of two unknowns. And you really need to master this really well. And there are two techniques here. But today, I'm going to use uh, a substitution technique. Uh, to solve the questions all right okay let's look at the questions here so um mariam what, what you can do is you can look at the examples over here and you can solve it by yourself then if you have problems then look at the video and but if you still can't understand please give me a call okay um let's look at page eight let's write down page eight Okay, and let's look at question number first one. So for the first one, question A, we have like, 
let me write nicer so it's easy for you a so y equals to x plus 4 and y equals to 2x plus 3 so uh this question um there's two equation uh, we can name it equation one and equation two but if you look carefully at these two equations right they started with y equals to x plus four and two x equals to three and if you look here they both have y and so you can actually equate the first equation and the second equation that means the first and the second equation the same right so which means x plus four is equals to 2x plus 3 okay because uh, y carries the value of x plus 4 in the form of algebraic expression or equation and for equation and 2 the y is also equals to 2x plus 3 so uh, we can actually conclude that basically x plus 4 is actually equals to 2x plus 3 that's, that's the reason why we can equate equation 1 and equation 2 together Right. So once we have um, we have equated together, we need to group all the unknown into one side and all the what they call these uh, all the values on the other side. Okay. So in this case, I'll put the x. I'll move the two x over equals to three minus four, and negative x equals to negative one. Right. So what is x? So, so x equals to one. So once you found that x equals to one. So when x equals to 1, what is y? So y is equal to 2x plus 3. You can either choose from equation 2 or equation 1. It doesn't matter. You can either choose equation 1 or equation is okay. Okay, as long as, because the whole idea is to find the value of x, uh, to find the value of y. So whichever equation that you choose over here, as long as you are able to get the value of y, it should be fine over here. So in this case, I'm choosing equation number 2. Um, yeah, because I think I prefer that. You can choose 1 as well. So 2. What is the value of the x? The value of x is actually 1. So it put it 1 plus 3. Okay. And that will give you 2 plus 3 is 5. Okay. Let's look at question number 2 y equals to 2x okay y minus 2x equals to 4 y minus 2x equals to 4 minus 2. this is the first equation and another equation is 3x equals to y plus 1 3x equals to y plus 1 this is the second equation so when we solve two equations over here okay um let's choose the first one from the first equation from 1 from the equation 1 so y minus 2x equals to 4 so we want to find uh, y in terms of x we want to express y in terms of x the reason why is because we want to substitute the value of y into equation 2 so you can have over here 4 bring the negative 2 over 2x over becomes a positive 2x and we call this equation number 3 so what we're going to do is we're going to substitute the equation 3 into the equation number 2 so we're going to apply substitution substitute 1 is eh, substitute 3 into equation 2 and that will give to you uh, 3x equals to we're going to replace y as this, okay? We're going to replace this y. I'm going to use a different color over here. You're going to replace the value of y here into this. Because y is also represented as 4 plus 2x. Oh, sorry. This is not 23. This is 2x. Okay? So 3x equals to y, y which is 4 plus 2x. Okay, then 4 plus 2x plus 1. Okay, so what we are doing here is uh, instead of having two different unknown in a single equation, we have already reduced it to one unknown, right? 
So we can use a normal uh, linear equations uh, to solve one unknown. So this is one of the techniques that I use by substitution in order to find the value of x. Then once I find the value of x, then we can find the value of y. So let's continue from here and you're going to get 3x minus 2x group the unknown in one side and the, the value on the other side. So 4 plus 1, okay? So x equals to 5. So we have the value of y. So once you have the value of 5, when x equals to 5, what is the value of y? Choose from, uh, let me, I'll choose from equation number 3 because y equals to 4 plus 2x, okay? So 4 plus 2, and what is the value of x? The value of x is 5, and 4 plus 10 is equals to 14. And we have solved the next, the value of y. Oops, sorry. Okay, so you're going to have like your x equals to 5 and your y equals to 14. Very easy. This is really very easy. Okay. Okay, let's look at the next question and see what else we haven't solved yet. Okay, cool. Okay, let's look at uh, question number C. Okay, let's erase this part out. Okay, in a question C, it's going to be a bit more complicated. Uh, you have like y over 2 minus x equals to 2, right? Okay, so this is our first equation. And the second equation given to you, 6x equals to 2y plus 2. That is the second equation. Okay. So uh, we're going to look from the first equation, from the first equation, y over 2 minus x equals to 2. Uh, personally, I do not like to solve question involving fraction, especially for a uh, question which is simultaneous equation. We can we should always try to reduce the question. Uh, into a non-fraction equation, okay? The reason is, uh, if you solve question in a form of a fraction, uh, usually the solution, be, uh, the solution to get the answer is going to be very complicated and you tend to make a lot of mistakes. So what I want to do here is I'm going to multiply 2 to every single, uh, what you call this, uh, every single term here, all right? So what you're going to do is we're going to multiply by 2. And I'm going to represent this with a purple color. So we're going to multiply by 2, multiply by 2, and multiply by 2, right? Okay. So it's going to be like um, 2y over 2 minus 2x equals to 4, right? So I'm going to reduce it. Sorry, I, I kind of used the word reduce. You should be using simplify it, and this can cancel off. y minus 2x equals to 4, right? Then once you get that, you can you can you can express y in terms of x, four plus plus two x. Okay, four plus two x. Something's wrong. Let me rewrite this. So it's going to be four plus two x. Okay. So we're going to call this equation 3. And we are going to substitute equation 3. Ah, let me erase this. Substitute 3 into 2. Oh, sorry. Yep, into 2. And, okay, so... 6x equals to 2. We're going to replace the y with this one, 4 plus 2x. 4 plus 2x plus 2, all right? So instead of putting y, we're going to replace it with 4 plus 2x. So when you replace it with 4 plus 2x, and if you look at the equation over here, there's, no, there's only one single unknown. That's the value of y. That is actually x, right? And you don't have y. So the first attempt is to find the value of uh, x. Then after that, by using, uh, but then by substituting the value of x into another equation, we should be able to get the value of y. So let's try to find the value of x first. 6x equals to 2 times 4 
sorry, 2 times 4 is not 4, it's 8. And 2 times 2x is actually 4x, right? It's a plus 2. So 6x minus 4x equals to 10. 2x equals to 10. x equals to 10 over 2. x equals to 5. So when x equals to 5, what is the value of y? y equals to 4 plus 2x. 4 plus 2, 5 equals to 4 plus 10, 14. Alright, so you can see from here, uh, the technique is pretty simple. So x equals to 5. And y equals to 14. Yep, it is long. It is that way. There's no any short, there, there's no shortcut to solve this question. And you have to be really patient solving uh, what we call this uh, simultaneous equation. You have to be really patient. I mean, you can't rush things. Because if you rush, the tendency of getting it wrong is, is really high. Okay, so let's try question D. And question D tells us uh, Okay, let's move this a bit to the side Okay, let's look at question D Okay, question D is x equals to 2y plus 4, right? x Equation 1, equation 2. So we're going to substitute, uh, not substitute. If you look carefully at the equation 1 and equation 2, you tend to realize that both x and the y, and both equation 1 and equation 2 can be, uh, they can be equated, all right? Which means like, because both are x, so it just means that 2y plus 4 is equal to 3y minus 1, all right? So 4 plus 1, just group the unknown and the not unknown together. 3y Okay. Uh, there are times when the mirror board is not really working fine. 3y Okay, minus 2y and 5 equals to y, y equals to 5, right? So to find the value of x, you need to substitute into equation number 2. And that will give to you, very simple, x equals to 3, 5 minus 1, right? So it's going to be 15 minus 1, 14, right? So x equals to 14, y equals to 5. That's it. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Okay. And yeah, let's look at the last question. The last question is our uh, equation is E. Alpha plus 2 beta. They are just unknown. Don't worry about the symbols. The same thing also equals to 7 and beta plus alpha equals to 4 so we need to solve it the alpha and the beta they are they are actually unknowns so you have to solve the alpha and beta so we call this the first one as the first equation the second one as a second equation all right uh let me see first okay here you go this is the first equation this is the second equation. From the first equation, alpha plus 2 beta equals to 7. Alpha equals to 7 minus 2 beta. We call it 3. So you substitute 3 into 2. Beta plus... What is alpha? 7 
7 minus 2 beta. Okay. Two. okay, equals to 4. And that will give you beta plus 7 minus 2 beta equals to 4. So negative beta plus, oh, let's move this plus over. Negative beta equals to 4 minus 7. Negative beta is negative 3. Beta is 3. So if you have beta equals to 3, Why is alpha? Alpha equals 7 minus 2 beta. 7 minus 2, 3. 7 minus 6 equals to 1. Okay, so you're going to have alpha 1 and beta 3. All right, beautiful. That's it. That's for the first part. So as you travel down um, to the next section, you do guess, right, the question could be more complicated. But don't worry about the complications or the complicated methods. You are still able to solve a question which are very, very complicated. So it doesn't matter. Okay, just have to stick to the, the right approach and you will do fine. Okay, let's look at the next one. Oh, that's it. Finish. Okay, uh, is there any other questions from here? Let me see first. No, I think that's all. Alright, um, Miriam, I hope you can try out yourself. Then, if you have any problems, um, look at the video, find the answer from the video. And if you still can't understand, you can always...